it's Nat from Brand Nat, and today we're going to be looking at how we can automate our cover letters to be customized to our resume and the job description. So why this is really cool is that when you're job hunting, you've probably got like hundreds of different job ads to apply for. And if you sat there and wrote out like an email or a cover letter for every single one of these job ads, it's probably going to take you like half an hour to refer to the job ad and then look at your resume and write a cover letter out. And to do this for so many different job ads, you may not even get the job for is like going to take you a long time. So I've created an automation that can actually customize all your cover letters to actually match up with the job description so that it looks like you wrote it yourself. So I ran a small business before and I was employing people and I was, I had lots of resumes to look through and the ones that stood out had a really good cover letter that was customized to what I was looking for. Whereas the ones with just the resume just shot through, just gave me the impression of being really lazy and they weren't really interested in joining my business. And so having a customized cover letter really could be the difference between you getting a job versus another candidate. And so today I'm going to show you how to automate it. So the tools that I'll be using is an automation tool called Zapier. It is a paid plan, but I think that if you're doing so many of these, it may be worthwhile looking into it. The second one is Google Drive and Google Docs. So just to give you an example, say you're looking for a job on LinkedIn and you found the awesome job that you want to apply for. What you can do is actually copy that whole job description, copy it and paste it into Google Docs. So this is just an example, but copying it into a Google Docs and saving it with the company name dash the job role, which in this case is content creator. And I'll tell you why that's very important later on. Now save that into a Google Drive or Dropbox if you have that. But basically I created a folder called LinkedIn and a folder for job ads and a folder for Zapier cover letters. Now Zapier cover letters is going to be the output for your custom cover letters generated by automation. The job ads, you know, where this job ad is going to go. So save that into job ads. And so let me go into Zapier, which is the place that's going to automate all these things for you to create a custom cover letter for you based on your resume. Now the automation tool that we'll be using today is called Zapier and it basically automates like up to 5,000 apps, which is enormous. But basically what you can do with it is create a zap. I've called it cover letter generator and I'll show you the whole process of what's going to happen. So the first step is once Google Docs detects a new document in there in a folder, which in this case is job ad it's going to automatically trigger a zap to take that document and format it. And I'll go through this later on, but format it and put it into send prompt through OpenAI. So inside this zap, what's going to happen is every time there is a new job description inside this Google Docs folder, which is job ads, it's going to take that document and put it through OpenAI and through OpenAI, it's going to generate a custom cover letter based on your resume and the particular job description. And once it's done with that, it's going to take it, put it back into Google Docs and put it into this folder over here, which is Zapier cover letters, which is your output. And you can take directly the Google Docs and send it straight to your employer or potential employer with these custom cover letters. So let me go through in detail. So the first trigger is a new document in the folder in Google Docs. So you would want to choose Google Docs as the app. And then the event is to whenever there's a new document in the folder and simply choose your account. So this would have to link up with your own Google account. Once that's done, the trigger is whenever there is a new document inside the job ads folder, which is over here, this zap will be triggered. And so if you run the test, we have found a new document in the folder. That means it's all good to go. Now I will be going through the text formatters in later on after I've explained this open AI prompt. So 
it will probably make more sense later on as to why these are important. But if we go straight to send a prompt in OpenAI, so what you want to do is look for the app called OpenAI, GPT-3 and Dali, and the event is send a prompt. So you need to link up your OpenAI account, which is a paid version. You'll need to get an API key and install that. But once that's all set up, you can actually link your OpenAI account through there. And the action that you want to take is over here. So the model that we want to go for is text of inchy 003. Now, this is the whole prompt. And if you want the prompt sent to you, follow the link below. I've got it there. I can send it directly to you. But basically the prompt is asking to write a short cover letter and I've specified how many words based on the below inputs and my resume and the job description. Include paragraphs so it's easy to scan, simple to read because these recruiters have a lot of resumes to go through. So you don't want to like waste their time or make it super boring. Make the cover letter conversational, sassy, witty with lots of character. We really need to stand out. And it's totally true because you don't want to make it sound like every other cover letter. You need it so that it stands out and has some point of difference. So these are the couple of things that I've instructed it to do in the cover letter. So answer some following questions in there, which is demonstrate your enthusiasm for the role and organization and highlight your relevant skills. So what it's going to do is take my resume skills and qualifications and apply that to the actual job so that it's very customized towards what they're looking for and hence explain why you're the perfect fit for the role. And you know, some other things like providing examples of how you've done similar things in the past and let the employer know that you're available for an interview and basically asking them that's the call to action that they should take at the very end and then finish off with sincerely Natalie and you can always adjust your name as well. Now if we scroll down these are the inputs that I've put in so first we've got the, the job title role the job description, as well as my name, my phone number, my email address, and my resume, which I've pasted down here. Now you can paste it here, your resume, or you could add it as a file like over here. But let me just explain how you put these inputs in. So basically for the company, what you want to do is, so say we didn't have, say this was empty. What you want to do for the output is scroll down to the very bottom because yeah you're not going to see the options over here you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom so you'll see a box like this called insert data and what you want to do is get the text output from here and this is the company name Vayner X and the job role title same thing you want to get the job title role which is content creator and you do that exactly the same way and then the job description is the raw file, which is the actual text within the document that we pasted in, which is the one over here. Remember how we pasted in the job role into the Google Docs? That's going to take all the text within this Google Docs. And to find or to put this in, all you need to do, I'll just do it from scratch again, but all you need to do is go down to the very bottom, insert data and go to new document. And then here is the raw file, raw plain text content, which is this over here. So that's in now. And yeah, the rest you can import like your name and everything like that. But if you want, you could also do something like my resume and then insert a file the same way that you did with the job description. But in this case, I've just literally pasted it in. Now, the temperature that you want to set it at, I've set it as 0.7, which is default. But if you're, say, for example, doing something like a quote where the answer cannot be changed or be super creative, then you would want to switch this down to zero. If you're writing something creative like a social media caption or a blog post, then you may want to switch this all the way to one, which means it will spit out a really creative answer for you. Now, in this case, I don't want it to gravitate too far away from my resume because I need it to be not going <laughs> to exaggerate too much. But on the other hand, I want it to also be creative because that's going to be how you stand out. So we're going to 
leave that as 0.7. Of course, you can play around with that if you want to see what kind of answers it gives you. The maximum length I've set at 500. Now, 500 isn't the exact number of words. It's like referring to tokens, which is a bit different. But yeah, I've just left it as the default. But you can adjust it to higher or lower amounts based on how many words you'd like to put in. And I've left everything as default. You may want to test this out, but this is basically the output that OpenAI has basically given us with all the inputs that we've given it, which is my resume and the job description. In the next section, I'll let you see what it actually looks like. So after that, we want to create a new document within Google Docs. So same as before, we choose Google Docs as the app. And then the event is create a new document from the text and the account, link that up with your own account, Google account. And the action is the document name, which we're going to call cover letter dash the company name and from Natalie. And you can put your name in there as well. But yeah, that sort of helps you identify which cover letter or from which company you're going to send that to. So let me just show you inside. So that's what it's going to look like inside your outputs. Now inside the document, you want to put in the date, which is the output that I'll show you later on, but it's going to mention the date, my details, and this is all fake by the way. But yeah, the third part is the actual output that OpenAI gave us, which is the cover letter itself. So how you get there, I'm just going to do this from scratch again. So for example, you want to put in the OpenAI output. It's going to open up this box called insert data. And you want to go into send prompt in OpenAI because that's where we want to get the info from. So you want to probably expand that down. And at the very bottom, you'll see choices text. And that's the text that you want to put into your document. So that's done. And the folder we want to put it in is in LinkedIn and in the Zapier cover letters. So that's where all our final cover letters will be placed. And so... That's it. Going back to the text formatter. Now, the reason why we want to have the text formatter is because it can drag in bits and pieces of details that we want to put into OpenAI. So for example, you may have seen in OpenAI's prompt that we wanted to input the company name so that we can address this inside the cover letter and the job title role. So let me go back up here. So how you can do this is go to, which is one of Zapier's tools, formatter by Zapier, and the event is a text. And then next is the action. So what we want to do is split the text. So that was why it was really important to label the document as the company name and the job role. So I'm just going to do this from scratch, but the input you want to put in here is the title of the document. And if you scroll down, the separator, so this just means like how it's being separated. So that's why I put like a dash in between the company name and the job role so that Zapier knows where to actually extract the text from. So we're going to take the segment, which is the first segment. And let me just show you the actual output it's going to give, which is Vayner X, which is the company name. And that's all good. So the next section is when we're exactly the same zap, but in this case, the only difference is we're taking in the second segment, which is the content creator, like the job role. And that's how you extract the text. Now, the third thing we're going to extract is the date and time. In the formatter through Zapier, we're going to still select format. And in this zap, we're going to take out the date and time. Now we're going to grab the date and time in the new document in folder in Google Docs. If you look up create date, you'll see it over here. So click on that and that'll show up as your input. Now you want to grab the date and this date refers to the date that you actually input the job description so that we can put in the date in our cover letter. Let me just show you what I mean. So yeah. This is the, the date and it just looks nicer and well formatted when you're sending off cover letters. But yeah, that's basically why we extract or use the text in formatter feature in Zapier. So yeah, let me just show you what it looks like. So once you've 
completed this app, it just means that every time you create a new document in job ads for any job role that you want to apply for, it's going to automatically come out with a custom cover letter inside this folder over here. And it's going to look like this. And inside, if you click on the cover letter, it's going to look like this. So it's going to have the date, your details. This is fake, by the way. And it's going to address like the hiring manager and tell you more about why you deserve this role. So I'm writing to apply for a content creator role at VaynerX. And it just, it's a really nice way to write this all out while relating it back to your experiences versus what they're looking for. And you can take a read of this in your own time, but basically it has done everything that I wanted it to do, which was in addition to that, mention my past experiences and how that relates to the new role. And it's followed my prompt exactly with the call to action for an interview or a follow-up email. So yeah. And the last part is to sign off with Sincerely Natalie, which has done pretty much everything I've asked it to do. So I hope this helps. And if you want the actual prompt that I've written in Zapier, feel free to download it in the link in the bio or link below. And I hope that you find this useful in your job hunting. And yeah, if you want to hear more about how you can use AI and automations, give me a follow. Until then, see ya.